make you know Ninja songs, old school or new school, stand a chance to win big on Gusto Gesto song. To be a part of this, call the numbers on your screen right now. Come on board and let's do things the Gusto way. Welcome back to Gusto News. This, of course, is Gusto TV, and I am Eni Felua. Well, today on this news, sitting comfortably is a Malay. I also have lighter for you know why. Uh, yes, we end up with the legend and my Abaga. But before I go on, I did say thank you to you guys. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for comments. Thank you for telling people about Gusto TV. Thank you so much and keep doing that. And for those of you who are new to this channel, please just click on the subscribe button and as well on the notification bell. Both is beneath this video gets to notify you whenever you know we put up a new video or whenever we're going live. And trust us, we are always prompt when there's a new happening that you guys need to know about. So yes, in this news, let me start up with Omale. Omale was in the news a couple of days ago because of putting up a video, a lovely video of himself and his said girlfriend. And in just like in 24 hours later, we started hearing that they've served breakfast to who and whom. We don't know. But of course, that generated a lot of conversations around him over the, during the week. Yes, a lot of people were talking about that. Oh, my lady, the lady was seen with another person. The said guy came out to say, oh, we're friends. Even our boyfriend knows and all of that. But away from that, Male, of course, is known to always win. Always in the news for winning, for setting one thing or the other. And this time around, is a single uh, novelist this year understand um yeah i also released followed it with a video a very beautiful and colorful video storyline relating to the song you just listen okay the lady yes yes now we understand we, we don't just yes we understand what you're saying now the video actually you know gave quite a good interpretation to the song but trust me as well only is like one of those things happening whenever it drops a song it did get you know, number one on different streaming platform and it's not left out on youtube as well as a song has reached a total of 10 million views on youtube this is huge this is a song that was released a couple of months ago and already it's been able to reach 10 million views on uh youtube at the moment that of course is a very big one uh on my labor of course there's nothing we're surprised about on my lay is that guy everybody wants to listen to yes of course he still holds the award for the next rated you know and of course other things happening around him so yes congratulations to Omale on the stand video reaches 10 million views on youtube so now moving on to the next in this series is Lita and his baby mama, Kemi. For a couple of months now, it's been a whole lot of back and forth. This lady comes out consistently to say a thing or two about him. Of course, on his own side, he's been very quiet. But a lot of times when she's coming up to say one thing or the other, she did always bring in his manager, SI, and would always accuse her of, you know, not loving her or not loving her son, disliking her, disliking the son, not allowing him to release a song, not allowing him. Well, this time around, she's calling her out uh, because she said, she removed the name of their son in a song Lighter is supposed to release and gave out the one that does not have the boy's name for them to release on streaming platforms. She goes and say, imagine hating on a one-year-old though, at your big age. My baby doesn't even know you exist, Agbaya Oshi, and God will punish you and you see the evil spirit that lives inside of you that will kill you and all. It's not me again, it's my child you're coming after now. You shall want my attention so bad. You are you that obsessed with us? At this point, I know there's something else there that aren't normal to me anymore on oh God. What's your problem with me, she? I wonuga. I need to know FFR. And of course, a lot of them, she went on to say, oh, he didn't take, okay, she says, beefing with a one-year-old, this one weak me. If it's not mental illness, I don't know what it is. Or is she say, baby girl, a big boy, or whatever you're called. My son is not the cause of your problem, I promise you. Uh, imagine going to exchange his father's song because it contained his son's name in it. Lo, I hope you are happy now, sir. You can happily eat the original version. Uh, she said he didn't take the name of the song. Side sent a different file to the person who was supposed to post the song. It's not Adim that took the name of the song. I was the one who told him they uploaded the song, the wrong one. Side uh, SI went behind to give the guy the other one. So this is a back and forth, of course. Um, Kemi is always coming out to call out Lighter. Lighter on his end would never say anything about it. The other time she said he has come out to apologize to her and all of that. But this one, she seemed not to have any issues with him. But still, 
with his manager saying a song is supposed to release or a release supposed to carry the name of the boy their son but as i removed it and sent the one without the voice name to those who are supposed to upload on streaming platforms anyways i mean we know when she says things like this uh lighter non-si comes out to respond to her but yes of course she has chosen social media as her own means of letting out whatever is hot in her we just hope that she finds healing and peace so now rounding off this news with M.I. Abaga. Of course, M.I. is that rapper that, you know, I mean, you, don't, you can't just joke with. Those, these are the very few that are really giving us, you know, um, real rap for what it is. Well, uh, a couple of weeks ago, M.I. came out to say that Nigerian government and Twitter needs to come to a conclusion because he needs to drop an album and he needs to use I Am Twitter in promoting it. Trust me, the conversations about music, and a whole lot of it goes down on Twitter. Reviews, critics, fans coming out, so this song is good, this song is not bad. A whole lot of it goes on on Twitter. And for him, in order for his album to be able to do well, he needs the Twitter promotion. So Nigerian government and Twitter needs to come to a conclusion as long as MI is concerned. Well, this time around, he seems to be coming on his IG story to let out a couple of things off his mind, what is hurting him or why, he's, you know, how he's feeling. He goes on to say, I have 400 Naira in my account. I don't have my emoji. We have ego. Drake, pregnant <laughs> emoji. Bonner, of course, is can see the African giant <laughs> it says, I need an emoji. Okay, okay. It's like since I now buy emoji now, Twitter and every other social media, give me a. He goes on to say, Am I zero? That's zero, really? Okay. He says, How did I get here? Uh, then he, he posts something that says, I asked the billionaire how he did it. He said, Forget about the girls and focus on one woman. She will help you achieve everything. And he goes on to say, I don't see my fuck up. Okay, now girls, okay. Emma, if not girl, okay, just choose one. Maybe we to marry, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, this uh, seem comic to me. Is Emma kind of trying to get her attention because, of course, he has said he wants to release an album and he needs people to keep talking about him since Twitter is yet to be fully up and running in Nigeria. Quite a comic one from him there. Okay, guys, so the comment section is there. Just do your thing. What do you think? Kemi is back with uh, a lot of talks on SI and um, Lighter. Um, of course, am I complaining about the emoji thing, money, and all of that? And Omale is on 10 million on his new song, Understand, on YouTube. We'll be there to, you know, respond to your comment. But for me, I'll see you guys in the next news. Bye.